Good morning. Welcome to St. Celestine's Church, Mother Garen Parish. Our opening hymn will be songbook number, that's not the right one, 516 in your journey book. <laughs> Please open it and join us in hymn. <clears throat> Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, cleansed by the blood of Christ the King. Heirs of salvation, trusting His promise, faithfully now God's praise we sing. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, dead in the tomb with Christ a King, one with His rising, freed and forgiven, thankfully now God's praise we sing. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, marked with the sign of Christ the King. Born of one Father, we are His children. Joyfully now God's praise we sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. 
with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by a strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our psalm response will be, the Lord will bless his people with peace. 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 
ascribe to the Lord your heavenly powers, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name, bow down before the Lord majestic in holiness. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord upon the waters, the Lord on the immensity of the waters. The voice of the Lord, full of power, the voice of the Lord, full of splendor. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word is life for steps and a lamp to guide our feet on the pathway to our God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, Jesus also had been baptized and was praying. Heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate today the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, we encounter in today's reflection of our readings this beautiful moment, this affirmation of the love of the Father towards His Son, Jesus Christ. For in this moment, Jesus is about to begin His, priest, his priestly ministry of going forth to preach the salvation of the world through being that last sacrifice that is to the Father, on behalf of all of us sinners. In this moment, he engages his cousin, John the Baptist, in the river, and he is baptized and anointed with the Holy Spirit. And in this moment, we see how God responds to his beloved son. He says to him, you are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. And these words of affirmation, of love, of tenderness, are the very beginnings of Christ in his ministry. And so from this moment on, he will go forth to gather his disciples, to call the twelve, and to begin this process of proclaiming the kingdom of heaven. Now, for many of us, as we also have encountered perhaps these words of affirmation from our own parents, grandparents, friends or family, co-workers or bosses, it feels really good to be told that someone is proud of you, proud of your work, your work ethic, your decisions, the person that you are, through the many different opportunities that we show the gifts that God has given us. In this moment, Christ receives this identity so that all who are present hear this and may believe. But then Christ is taken to prayer. This was in the very beginning of uh, Luke chapter 3. And if we open our Bibles, sometimes you have to dust them off a little if you haven't opened them one up in a little while. But you begin with chapter 4, the chapter following this encounter. And it begins with the temptation of Jesus. So I encourage you to listen closely to this encounter. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of, man, of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, one does not live by bread alone. This moment of encounter between Jesus and the devil, the accuser, the liar, the deceiver, is one that immediately focuses on the identity of Christ. Moments before, from heaven came this voice that said, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased, I am happy with you. And the first thing that the devil does is attack that identity. 
that reflection of relationship. He says to him in a mocking way, if you are the Son of God, which you believe, I'm sure he has given to you the authority and power to be saved from this hunger. Command those stones to be turned to bread so that you may eat. But it is not because Christ does not want to do these things. It is to mock his trust in his Father of who he is. Because the, de the devil, the deceiver, the liar wants to separate Christ from his relationship and trust in his Father. To doubt that he is the beloved Son. So he first attacks and mocks his new identity revealed through the Holy Spirit, through this encounter of baptism and grace. Because what else does the devil want but the destruction and separation of our relationship with the one who formed us in his image? Second, he then attacks what Christ Jesus in that most human moment desires food because he has been in prayer and fasting and so in his humanity he is hungry and so that is the temptation that immediately the devil brings to him if you are hungry then eat command that these stones be turned to nourishment and this is where brothers and sisters we have to focus on how we too are tempted by the devil. First and foremost, we too are beloved children of God. We too have been given this relationship through our baptism. And in that moment, God says to us, you are my beloved son and daughter. I am pleased with you. Even in the moments that we fail, because of our imperfect human nature. And this is precisely what the devil attacks. He brings to us this doubt and says to us, do you really believe that you are beloved? Because you fail time and time and time again. Do you really think that he would welcome such an imperfect person who takes his name in vain, who profanes his holiness? with your sin, with your vices, with the things that make you imperfect. And he throws this in our face over and over and over again until we are fearful, until we reject the love of God and we grow with distrust to this truth that we are beloved. And then second, he attacks what we are most hungry for. We too are hungry. And the devil knows to attack what we are most hungry for. If in our moments of vulnerability, we are hungry for attention, for love, because of loneliness, because of tiredness. If we are tired and we then desire the vices and offerings of the world, we will fill ourselves with worldly fillings. And we will still be hungry because it will not be enough to satiate us. The truth of God, which Christ proclaims, one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the word of God. This word, this truth, gives us eternal life, gives us fulfillment, and satiates our souls. And so we must focus our hunger not on worldly things or things that are passing because in the moment that we fill our lives and our emptiness with these things we will hunger again and then we have given in to that lie of the evil one that says you're not truly beloved because look at you and in that moment our bond and our relationship is broken but not because of God, but because we choose to believe the liar, the accuser, the destroyer of the relationship of love of the one who made you and I in his image. And so when we see the baptism of Jesus, 
It is an important reflection of that relationship and that gift that God gives to you and me of being now called adoptive sons and daughters. But that truth of relationship must be renewed and accepted and ingrained in who we are because the accuser will not relent. The easiest thing to do in our society is to believe that the devil does not exist, that we are simply just human, that our decisions have no impact on my spirituality, who I am, how I view the world, but that is a lie. The devil desires the destruction of the trust that we have in God. And his truth is a simple truth. He loves you. He loves you. And if we begin to doubt that love, we will crumble under the weight of the temptations of the world and of the evil one. So we have to answer the devil. We have to respond. When these thoughts and these emotions creep into our souls, into our minds and our hearts, I am loved. I have been forgiven. I have been desired. I have been saved at a great price. And because of that great price of Christ's salvation, I know that I can return to the Father time and time again. Even if I am broken, even if I fail, even if my most precious intentions are to do good and I fail, God loves me. And if we strongly hold to that truth, no temptation will equal that gift from God. So we prepare ourselves as we celebrate today this beautiful celebration of the identity of Christ to be reflected in our own relationship and identity as beloved children of God. And then we answer that we too are fed with the truth, the truth and knowledge of who we are. And I encourage you, when these moments come in your life, when you doubt if God loves you, if God is with you, if the burden of the world is too heavy to bear, remember the truth. You are beloved. You are desired. You are forgiven. And believe that our nourishment is from the truth, not from any lie that the evil one may say or give. So let us close in our minds and our hearts our desire to reflect on our identity of, as being beloved children of God and to answer always the evil one with the affirmation that we believe the truth of God, the salvation of Christ, and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. With renewed trust in the promise of our identity as beloved children of God, we bring before him his altar of sacrifice, all of our prayers and petitions for all of our loved ones, for our community, and for those that have asked us for prayers. For the Pope and all the bishops who shepherd the church throughout the world, that they might guide us in all wisdom, <clears throat> justice, and faithfulness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all baptized believers who share in the mission of Christ in the world, that we remain faithful to our calling and always strive to shine as a light in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who call the streets and shelters home, and all who do not have enough to eat, that the Lord will bless all for whom the winter months are a danger to their health and well-being. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those being baptized into our faith community, Christopher Michael Campbell, Noah Brixton Neal, Avery Renee Wackel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the peace of Christ, Francis Tinarella, Aaron Adriani, Sister Jean Schulte, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered, Angela Castronovo, birthday, Frank Pudlow, respect life, Arthur Oslowski, Roman and Anna Romaniak, Antilio Manfredini, anniversary. Maisla Milkowski, 14th anniversary. Sister Angela Piatek, two-month anniversary. Danuta and Cesla Alzuski, for good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we offer you our best efforts and sacrifices this day, we ask that we may always be filled with the Holy Spirit, given the strength and courage to persevere in our journey of faith, and may trust always in the example of your most beloved Son, in whom we place all of our hope. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the 
bread bliss broken and shared Christ is our life whose presence we bear come O Spirit make your grace revealed in this holy meal you are the light that shines in space. Gather your people, form us in Christ. Come be the heartbeat of our lives. In the bread, bless, broken and shared, Christ is our life whose presence we bear. Come, O Spirit, make your grace revealed in this holy meal. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands. hands. Praise the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the Spirit descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness, and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise Supich, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And now let us show some sign of peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. For those participating in today's liturgy via live stream, please bow your head as I read the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most beloved sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly in you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please join us in our communion hymn. Come to the water, which is in your journey book, number 626. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Let us pray. Nourished with the sacred, so with the sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, after the <coughs> Mass, we will be having our COVID testing in the gym. If anyone wishes to have a COVID test, please check the bulletin. Uh, please check Facebook along with our website for future uh, times and dates. We would like to continue testing for COVID um, on Sundays after Mass, but please check to make sure that we are still doing it. We'll be having the Rosary this coming Wednesday evening at St. Celestine's Chapel at 7 p.m. Please join us. When you leave church today, please be careful. Um, the parking lot, the sidewalks, uh, they're still icy. Uh, they were a sheet of glass this morning when I got here at 6.30, so please be careful. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it, um, just a word of precaution, um, the bricks are still a little icy as you exit this way, so a good idea is to hold on to the railing because you're going in a slope, and depending on your, the traction on your shoes, it can be very, very extra slippery. So just be sure to grab onto the railing when it's available. Um, also, uh, as we started last month in December, our youth and teen ministry mass uh, at the 11 o'clock mass, we are uh, hoping to have it one every month, but because of an increased number of COVID cases and how we want to protect our community and our children, we will be postponing this month, January's 11 o'clock uh, teen and youth mass with activities that we had last time. Last time we were able to have pizza and basketball in the gym and other activities. But because of COVID, we want to make sure that uh, we safeguard our children during this time. And so we will postpone till February until we are more confident in uh, everyone's safety. So we will continue our youth and teen ministry mass along with um, Mr. Kempner's also uh, teen choir that joins us that day. But we will be postponing that mass and, and activity schedule till February. So please be uh, on the lookout in our announcements and on our bulletin to uh, see if we are able to do that the third or fourth Sunday of the month. So uh, thank you so much. And then finally, for all of our families that are gathered here today, uh, especially those whose children were baptized during this past year, we have each child's name and a dove displayed in the banner in the back of the church. And so we would like to give a special blessing for those families tonight, today. So our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Lord, our God, out of the speech of little children, you have fashioned a hymn of praise. Look with kindness on these children whom the faith of the church commends to your tender care. Your son, born of the Virgin Mary, gladly welcomed little children. He took them into his arms, blessed them, and held them up as an example for all. We pray that you, Father, will also send your blessing on them, so that they may grow in Christian maturity, and by the power of the Holy Spirit become Christ's witnesses in the world, spreading and defending the faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you so much for your participation. Please be, um, be safe on your way home. And we look forward to beginning this new liturgical year once more as we now begin ordinary time. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. I'll let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Please join us in our closing hymn, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus, found in your journey book number 458. Redeemed us.
was by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us. Faith believes nor questions how. Received him when the forty days were o'er. Shall our hearts forget his promise? I am with you evermore.